Hi guys, welcome back to GK Code Labs. First of all, I thank all of you for showing support and love to my channel GK Code Labs and your beautiful comments, questions that you post on my videos, which are a big motivation factor to me in helping you all by providing more content and it's a good source of learning for me also. So today I have basically two announcements. First, now in all my further videos, I'll be coming on this small box on the right bottom just for a change. In fact, this is my first video where I have come on camera. I thought this because I think this will be slightly more interactive in the video. Obviously, I cannot interact with you, but it gives a good element to the video content when you see my screen and me as well as of what I am doing, where I am doing. And the second announcement is, as you can see on my screen since past few minutes, I'm going to start Apache Spark series from level zero. Now, the reason behind this is most of the question that I receive that are uh, people are posting uh, when they face in, in some interviews or they are practicing from some of the blog or uh, any stack overflow page. They don't find some solutions. So they come to me or they practice. So I thought, first of all, it is very essential to get the basics clear. And that is the reason in this series, I am going to take a totally different approach towards Spark. Let me tell you how I'm planning to go through Spark in this series. So in this series, I'm not going to take questions from any interview or from any blog or some of my own content. I don't want to do that as we have to learn Spark and that too from A to Z. What will be better than the official documentation of Spark that we can follow? I'm starting taking all the concepts, all the background, all the functions and features that Spark provides generically and the official documentation of any framework or API is the best thing to learn anything from core because whatever the features, functions, methods that we want to learn to master any of the framework that is mentioned in the official documentation. So don't you think if we follow each and everything, it will take time, but each and everything that is provided in official documentation, if we get those things into our heads, our concepts will be clear. I'll not go from entire uh, things that are not much relevant, but mainly what Spark provides us. All the APIs basically, RDDs, data frames, data sets, what functions they provide. We'll go through all of that. And once we cover up almost 60 to 70 percent of that, then we will start into attempting some questions or hands on. This will allow many of us like who are preparing for Spark and they can learn different APIs, different uh, transformations, different actions. If they go through it on some blog or any interview questions blog, they can easily get it right. But when it comes to answering the questions related to what they, they have already learned, they are not able to answer that because they have just learned it. And they have learned it because they found the application in some of their scenario. And if some of the similar scenario is asked in a different way, they cannot relate that the same thing that I learned was applicable here. This is the reason I am starting from official documentation so that you can get to the core of each and every function. The official documentation is a very granular level document that will clear your concepts once and for all. And after that, any interviewer or any of your colleague can never confuse you with the Spark concepts. So let me show you what tools and applications I'll be going to use in this series. Also, let me know if these particular resources are available to you or I should have some other setup. Firstly, as a big data environment, I'll be using Cloudera Quick Start VM. I believe many of you will have it. I'll be using it for VirtualBox. So you need to have VirtualBox. I'll be using this virtual machine on Windows platform. As an additional information, I'll also show what configuration of machine I'm going to use. So this is the configuration of my machine. I'm using an Asus laptop which is i5 8th generation 8300H, 2.3 gigahertz, 16 GB of RAM and Windows 10 Home. So this is a basic setup. Also, let me tell you what other configuration will also work fine. It's better to have a machine with at least i3 processor starting from 6th or 7th generation would work fine. I would recommend at least 8 GB RAM if you have more than that well and good. Apart from that, all the quick setup I'll cover in my series. The series will start from Tuesday, that is 5th November. I'll try to keep each session of somewhere around 10 to 12 minutes, not more than 15 minutes, which is helpful for obvious reasons. You should not get bored, right? So guys, stay tuned to GK Code Labs and obviously the Apache Spark series, which will start on Tuesday. Thanks for watching this video. And as usual, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already done. See you in my next video, which is going to come on Tuesday. Take care. Bye.